When you're getting your data ready for analysis, sometimes you need to do the same transformation to many different scores, like doing reverse coding or logarithmic transformations. Or maybe you need to take variables and convert them into ordinal categories. I want to show you an example of how to use Jamovi's transform function to take z-scores and identify whether they are extreme or not using the plus or minus two standard deviations criterion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click on this blank space, and then I get to choose a new transformed variable. Now, what I'm going to show you can be done with a computed variable, but the advantage of doing it with a transformed variable is it saves that transformation function, and then you can apply it to multiple variables at the same time if you want. The first thing we need to do is we need to define the actual function that we're going to use, the transformation function. And so I'm going to come right here to transform. And I'm going to click on that, and right now I don't have any transforms. I'm going to come down here to create new transform. And that brings up another dialog from the bottom. And now I'm going to label the transformation. And again, this is something that can be applied to multiple variables. And so it's not the name of a variable, but it's the name of what you're going to do to variables. And I'm going to call it extreme. And I'm going to say is score more than two standard deviations from mean. And I'm going to be using the z-score so I don't have to compute everything else. And then what you have here is a variable suffix. And the idea is that if you have many different variables like q1, q2, q3 for question 1, 2, 3, and you're doing a logarithmic transformation on all of them, it can create a new variable that includes, for instance, q1 underscore log or log and then in parentheses q1. There are a lot of different ways to do it. I'm just going to put this right here and say extreme. And then I'm going to do the recode condition. Now, right now, it's asking me just to replace it with something else. I have to do add recode condition. And source means the variable that you're starting with. And again, you can leave that there because you're going to choose that variable in the next dialog box. I'm simply going to say, if it's greater than 2, then I'm going to say, assign the text yes. And you have to put text in single quotes so it knows, otherwise it's going to try to read it as a variable name. Then I'm going to add another recode condition and say if it is less than negative 2. And then that is also extreme, so I'll say yes. And then else says otherwise, just do this, otherwise it's no. So that's simple. So I'm going to close that, and now I've defined that transform function, and you can see that it's available now. There's extreme right there. And I'm going to use extreme, but it wants to know what variable it is I want to transform. That's why there's the question mark there. So I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to choose z-score. And once I do that, you see it fills in immediately where we have the nose, and down here we have a z-score of 2.097. That's greater than 2, so it says yes. That's extreme. And this is a function that I could apply to other variables if they're on the same scale. And so it makes it easy to prepare a lot of variables, sometimes using rather complex functions, but rather quickly in a way that's easy to set up and easy to understand what's happening.